I'm going to tie up for you a Rainbow Warrior. Now this fly we're going to tie it on a curved hook. Dairiki 135 or a TMCO 2457 or anything equivalent. We're going to start off with the silver tungsten bead. Behind it we're going to put three or four wraps of lead. And to start this fly we're going to take our thread. We tie red thread underneath this uh, for this fly. We're going to take and make a nice little thread base just behind the lead there and maybe do a couple wraps over top the lead. That's going to do is it's going to secure the lead and the bead to make sure that it doesn't have, ever slide back on us. Okay, after that we're going to take the thread, we're going to take it back to where the hook starts to bend. We're going to tie in our tail. Now for this fly, the tail, we're going to use some pheasant tail fibers. Depending on the size you're tying, it's going to take anywhere from three to three to five, maybe six fibers. This one's a size 16, so I use about five fibers. What we're going to do is we're going to make it just a little bit, that tail just a little bit longer than the total length of this fly. I'm going to go ahead and tie it in there at the back. I'm going to take this thread and we're going to wrap it forward until it's behind the lead. Once it gets behind the lead, we're going to clip off the excess. And we're going to tie in some large pearl tinsel. Now with this fly, you want to make sure that the abdomen, the back section of this fly, has a nice even body. You don't want it to be lumpy and misshapen. So we're going to tie this in back to where we tied the tail. Then we're going to bring our thread forward and we're going to slightly taper this abdomen by making the thread base nice and even as we bring it forward. Once we get it to where, where we like it there, I'm going to go ahead and do a half hitch at that point. And we're going to put a little bit of glue on top of that thread. That's going to make sure that when we when we wrap that tinsel over the top, it's going to make it stay down firm, and it's going to be able to catch this fly is going to be able to catch a lot of fish before it falls apart. After we get, after we do the glue, we're going to take this tinsel, wrap it forward. Every wrap just slightly overlaps the one before it. Once we get it right up there behind the bead, we're going to tie it off, but we're not going to clip it off because we're going to say, use the same piece of tinsel as our wing case. A couple of wraps. And we make sure that it's on top of the hook, and we're going to bring our thread over top of the tinsel, tying it in at about the two-thirds mark. At that point, we're going to take just a little bit of Wapsi South Scud dubbing, rainbow colored. We're going to do a little thorax here. Just going to put a little bit of dubbing on. I like to go over the top of this dubbing with my rat with my thread a couple of wraps just to make it secure. It'll be stringy but it won't be too out of control. Then we're going to take and do two wraps over the top of that tinsel, one in front to secure it in nice and tight. Cut it off. Then we're going to whip finish this fly and as we whip finish it, it's going to create just a little bit of a thread collar behind that bead. And that's actually an attracting point of this fly. I think that red attracts fish, catches their attention. Also this fly, we use the pearl tinsel, we use the red thread underneath and that red shines through So at, at, some, at some time. At other points, the pearl tinsel shines green and blue and gives some really cool colors to this fly. But it's quick, it's easy, and it catches fish.